Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to today's video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a um, my everyday makeup routine. This is definitely an updated one. Um, and yeah, also this is Vlogmas Day 7, I believe. Nope, Vlogmas Day 8. It's Vlogmas Day 8. Um, I get my Vlogmas is mixed up. Anyway, yeah, so today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. It is Vlogmas Day 8. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. All my other Vlogmases will be in the description box down below. And everything that I'm using as far as... Like, if I can, will be linked in the description box down below. But with that being said, let's just get started. Okay, so I zoomed you guys up, and as you can see, my cute little Christmas tree in the background. Um, alrighty. So the first thing that I use is, well, I guess I'll show you this. So, I use the oil-free moisturizer with sunscreen um, from Neutrogena. This is what it looks like. I use this as part of my morning skincare routine because... No matter if it's like winter, summer, fall, whatever, you always need to have sunscreen. I've learned that, so I just use this, and I've already applied that on. Um, next, I'm going to use primer. Um, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I absolutely love this primer. Um, I actually have like five bottles of these in travel size, in normal size, in big size, and small size. I love it. So I just get some on my hands and I mostly like my forehead and like right here are super dry so I try and give them the most moisture so that it doesn't look patchy when I apply my makeup. Also if I look over here it's because that's where my big mirror is and I didn't want to use the mirror light since I had natural lighting so. Yep, now that is all blended out. Okay, now that, that is all blended out, I'm going to be going in with my foundation, I guess. I don't know if you would actually call this foundation, but this is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. Um, this blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, and hydrates. Um, Helps protect with SPF of 30, and yeah, I just read it off the back. If you're wondering, like, how I know all of that, um, I have it in the shade light medium sheer tint, and I'm going to be using my beauty blender. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get my beauty blender wet, so now it is big and plush and ready. So so what I like to do is skirt some on the back of my hand and actually this might be a little bit too dark for me since I did get this in the summer and obviously you get tan in the summer. Well at least some people do. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put that on and I'm going to blend it out. And like as you can see, it it's just a sheer coverage light BB cream. Um, and if you wanted it to be more coverage, then it like if you wanted to get the max coverage out of it, you could build it up and also use a brush. But I just use a beauty blender. I don't know. Okay, so here's what my skin is looking like. You guys are probably like, that didn't do anything. You just have to give a few minutes and adjust to your skin tone and just makes everything one whole natural color. Put over my eyelids. I really love this stuff. So now we're going to move on to my concealer. And for concealer, I use the CoverGirl Clean Concealer. This stuff is super good. It is in the shade Fair Claire. And I'm just going to open it up and apply it under 
under, here, here, on any imperfections, and then up here, triangle here, down here, and then a little bit on these corners, but it's basically all I do. Then I'm taking my same beauty sponge and just blending it in. Also, um, this beauty sponge is by Real Techniques. It is one of the best, in my opinion, that is cheap. I think it's like $7. Um, that might, might not be cheap to some of you guys, but... It's a really good blender, so I think it's worth the price. Okay, and then I might just go in with a brush to kind of just make sure everything's blended in the best of its abilities. And I'm really sorry because one half of my face is light and one half of it's dark. All right. So now that we have that blended in nicely, this is a definitely a new addition to my makeup routine. It is powder. This is the AOA Studios Perfect like press powder in the shade 152 porcelain. Um and to be honest, I wanted the natural dewy glow, so I used everything cream, no powders whatsoever. And I realized that I just look like a sweaty mess by the end of the day. So that's why I really am incorporating powder into my skincare routine. Because I saw how terrible it is when you don't. So I just take some and pack it under my eyes with this brush that's actually from the dollar store. It's super cute. I got it quite a while ago. So I don't know if it will still be there, but guys can definitely try and find it. Also, something that I have learned is when you put powder on, when you first put it on, it looks kind of cakey, not gonna lie. And then once you let your natural oils like soak in together, mmm. That is definitely when my makeup looks the best. So, yeah, so I put powder on to set the face. And now my face obviously still looks shiny because I'm in like the natural lighting. But yeah, this powder is super good and it's only a dollar from Shop Miss A. So, get your hands on some of that. Okay, then next is one of my favorite parts, the bronzer. So for bronzer, I use the Hoola bronzer if it wants to focus on this bronzer. So I use, there we go, the Hoola bronzer. Um, yeah, it is just, looks like that. And as you can see, this is one of my favorites because I've hit pan on this. And it is just so good. So I'm going to dip into it, kick off the excess. And I'm just obsessed. I love bronzer, if you can't already tell. I had to put a little bit too much right there. My bad. Then I do put some under the chin just to give a snatched effect. Okay, now my face is all bronzed up. As you can see, I'm going to take a smaller brush. And for this, I love using, where is it? Okay, I love using these two mixes of brushes. This is the Real Techniques 300 Deluxe Crease Brush, and this is the Shani E17 Eyeshadow Blending Brush, but they are just perfect for nose contouring. So I take the skinnier one, dip into some of the powder, and I first start off with shaping my nose with the powder. 
pointed kind of upwards. Okay, so then once I have the shape, I'm going to take this brush and really blend it in. This brush really gets it in there and really helps blend it. And I don't do much, so if you're like, bro, can't even see that. It's because I don't do much. Um, and yeah, so it's basically what I do for my nose contour. Now we're going to do some eyebrows. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow. Oh my goodness. I use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in this shade taupe. Um, so I take this side. Also, I don't know what that noise is. My family is kind of crazy. Um, and then I take this side of the pencil and I'm just going to use this little mirror that comes on my big mirror which is really nice especially when I film videos so I'm just trying to lightly apply this on both sides okay so once I've applied it it's kind of gonna look crazy until I go in with this and really brush through them to disperse the product then once I have them like that of course I need to set them so I'm just using this LA Colors Lash Building Mascara which I actually don't use for lashes. I only use for my eyebrows and it works the same. Oh, got a little bit. And you can just place them however you want them to stay throughout the day. So I like mine to go up like so. Then I'll kind of bring down the edges. But yeah, that's my eyebrows. Now we are going to move on to the rest of the face. Okay, so for blush, I like to use this blush. It is Prisma Blush in Hot Pink. Um, I actually got this, well my sister got this for me off of Shop Miss A for my birthday. And this is what it looks like. You're probably like, you like that on your cheeks. I'm actually more of a peachy kind of girl but this stuff is super good I'm also using the Real Techniques 400 brush this is the blush brush so perfect and I just dip into it a few times pushing off the excess and instead of going right on the apples of your cheeks if you want to do a more sculpted look um, just do it straight right above your bronzer straight back and forth and I just think it's really pretty and as you can see it's not a lot of pigment which is technically what I like because I don't want to like put a tiny drop and then have too much I like to build as I go tap then a little bit on the nose I really love that look okay there's my little bit of the nose um, and yeah so that is for blush. And then for highlighter, I like to use the Laura Mercier um, highlight in number one. I don't know. I have two of these and I love them so much. As you can see, they are just so gorgeous. I love them and I love, love, love this brush for it. This is the Real Techniques 402 setting brush, but no, honey, this is definitely a highlighter brush. Like, I don't even know what they think they are doing, but this is a highlighter brush for sure. Put some everywhere I put some on my cupid's bow and then I'm going to take a smaller I guess this isn't really smaller but this brush dab then you're just going to do dot like literally just a dot right there and you're going to take it down like that 
place it on the inner corner of each eye. Cupid's bow, maybe a little bit over the brow bone. As you can tell, I really like a highlighted look. So yeah, that is what we have so far. And for, for, the for, for, um, Miss Ma'am, oh my gosh. For some of the final touches, I'm going to be doing my mascara and my lips. Okay, time for my eyelashes. I had to go get my little eyelash curler. So I use the eyelash curler from Mark. I don't know, that's just what it says. I've had it for so long. This is so good. Like, this is the best eyelash curler. So, I'm going to curl these lashes of mine. And you want to get, like, the outside corner. To really give that voluminous effect. And then, you are going to use the... Essence Lash Princess, well not you, but I love this stuff, like, there's also a waterproof kind if you're going, go, if you're going to go swimming or what not, and I whisper when I do this, so don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh. Okay, so we are going to just blink this on. Okay, once I have my mascara, I'm going to take a little Q-tip and just clean up any of residue that might have got on my lid and I personally don't do um l bottom lashes because then it just gets on my actual eye and sometimes I don't do mascara I use the kiss false scare lashes which are super good as well and then for the final touch I'm going to go in with really either one of these it kind of just depends on the day but these are the buxom little lip glosses um this one is pink champagne or blushing margarita so i think today i'm going to do blushing margarita and i'm just going to apply they are super thick glosses as well but they are like minty and fresh and then i do have some setting spray this is just from Shop Miss A again. This is what it looks like. Shake it up. <gasps> and then I just kind of... Sometimes I might press a little bit in with my beauty sponge. But yeah, this is the final look. Um, Yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll kind of give you guys... A better look in some natural lighting holy crap yeah I love this um I've actually just recently started doing it like this and I'm obsessed um, and I think it just looks really good yeah I'm just looking at myself in the mirror I mean not in the mirror and like the viewfinder thingy right here Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogmas video. If you did, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that means so, so, so much to me. Oh my goodness, it's so shaky. And I will see you guys in my next vlogmas video. Bye!